Let's replace the distributor cap on this Jeep Cherokee with a 4 liter inline 6 cylinder engine. Well, first thing we need to do is establish where number one cylinder is on the distributor cap. And so you'll see it's right here. Somebody's already gone ahead and put a few little dots on here with a paint marker so we can know where the firing order is, which we need to reinstall them. It's not a bad idea when you're doing this job to install new rotor plugs and plug wires when you're doing the job. But if you're going to reinstall the old wires, it's helpful to have them marked so you know where to reinstall them. If you take a look at the, the screen capture on your screen, you'll see the firing order here is 1, 5, 3, 6, 2, and 4 as we go clockwise around the distributor. So now that we know where these belong, I go ahead and just remove them from the cap here pull each of them off. We're going to set them aside. Pull the coil wire. That's one coming up off the middle here. Get these all out of our way. Once all the plug wires are off, now I just have to take my Phillips screwdriver and remove the two hold down screws that are holding the distributor into place. Once both the screws are removed, I can pull the cap up out of the place. And again, while we're in here, let's go ahead and install a new rotor into this distributor. It easily picks up and we can slide the new one into place. Now we'll take our new cap. You'll notice a rounded tab and a squared off tab. And on the distributor itself, you have a square tab and a round tab. So we need to align this properly and get it into place. It's a good idea to kind of get it set into place first. And now I'm going to take the screwdriver and tighten down the screws. And it's a good idea to work both of these screws equally rather than crank one side down and then the other. You run the risk of snapping the cap off or getting it not lined up properly, which could damage the rotor and the cap itself. So as I work my way back and forth, getting these Torque down properly. There, we got them all set. Now, again, we put our coil wire on the center and we've got our plug wires. Remember that number one is right here. And if we follow our marks, so we've got one, five, three, six, two, and four. You can always follow the path of the wiring here to figure out which one is which. But it's, again, quite helpful if you already have the paint marks on there. Make sure that each of them are clipped in properly. And once you get them all installed, the job is complete. You're all set to go.